What's up, YouTube? This is my review of Mattel's DC Comics Multiverse Batman v Superman Batman figure. Let's get started with the review. The sculpt on this guy is unfortunately a bit of a disappointment. Uh, it looks okay. I mean, this is the most comic accurate Batman that's ever been put to film. But my real complaint with the sculpt is that there are no muscles. The suit in the movie has all these sculpted muscles in the abs and the upper thigh in particular that are just not here on this figure. Mattel instead tried to replicate the folds in the fabric from the movie and they did an okay job of that. Uh, the face sculpt, it doesn't really look like Ben Affleck, but in Mattel's defense, how much did Ben Affleck look like Ben Affleck when half his face was covered up? But my real problem with the sculpt is this texture they've added to try and make some of the parts look like leather, you really have to get up close to see just how bumpy and honestly ugly the texture on the head is and how it just makes the transition from the mask to the neck so jarring and it's just not done well this texture unfortunately. It's nowhere near as bad on the gloves or the boots but on the head, man that is really a sore thumb sticking out. Unfortunately, the paint on this figure is not very good either. The very first thing I noticed when I picked this guy up was the gold that they've applied to the tips of the boots and to the knuckles here. I don't remember that being in the movie, but if it was, it certainly did not stand out as much as it does on this figure. The gold on the belt is okay. It even has a brushed metal effect on it. The rest of the body's got okay paint applications. There's no slop on the symbol, no slop on the jaw on my figure. And they've got brown eyes in there, which is pretty impressive. It's pretty hard to see. And you can see them pretty good there. And Mattel's never done that on a Batman figure before. They've always just done, gone with solid black eyes inside the white on movie figures. So it's pretty nice that they've got actual brown eyes here. Uh, another complaint with the paint. Come on, Mattel. That does not look good. It's gray inside the black. That's That should not be like that. You know that. Out of all the disappointing things with this figure, articulation is probably the worst offender. Batman has a ball joint head, but it is laughable. It doesn't go up and down at all. Can go full 360 if you want to pretend this is Owlman though. It's got ball joint shoulders that go in and out, a cut bicep, just a hinge at the elbow. That is pathetic in this day and age when Marvel Legends are consistently giving us double knees and elbows. Just a cut wrist, no hinge in it. He has an ab joint. It's also pretty pathetic. Cut waist, DC UC style H hips that go in and out, forward and backward. Cut thigh, a single hinge knee, and just a hinge at the foot. He has a rubber cape. I kind of like rubber capes, but. I know most people would prefer cloth, but overall articulation is a disappointment on this guy. Batman's packaging is pretty collector friendly, thankfully. There are no twist ties. You can get him in and out of the box pretty easily. The side is some nice artwork of Ben Affleck as Batman. At the bottom, a little plot summary it says Fearing the actions of a godlike superhero left unchecked, Gotham City formidable, forceful vigilante takes on Metropolis most revered modern-day savior while the world wrestles with what sort of hero it really needs. I think that first sentence uh, is missing some apostrophes and some S's. Get some grammar check in there, Mattel. For accessories, Batman comes with just one, but it's the only one Batman should come with, a battering. Except it's not really a battering, it's the base of a collect and connect grapple gun that is just incentive for you to buy seven more figures that you are not very good, so that's going in the trash. If there is one saving grace on this figure, it is the scale. Batman's ears rise just above six and a half inches tall. Thank you, Mattel, for finally making six inch figures actually more than six inches tall. Here is the BVS Batman next to a DCUC Batman and an old Mattel Movie Masters Christian Bale Batman. And can you tell which one of these three does not belong? This is why I think a lot of collectors were disappointed with the Movie Masters line that Mattel made back in the day. And thankfully, they have actually stepped up their game and made these new multiverse figures in an actual 6-inch scale. So scale is one thing this guy has got going for him. 
but overall I would not recommend this figure. Ben Affleck was a great Batman in the Batman vs. Superman movie, even though it was not a great movie, and this guy, even though it's based on a great character, is not a great figure. Warning, small parts may be generated. What the hell does that mean?